Good morning and welcome to Tuesday and day 20 of Vlogtober. Where are the days going? How are we on day 20 already? Um, we're not long back from the school run. Phoebe is now at school. Lilia is still in bed. It is quarter past nine in the morning and I am off to the post office. Thank you to everyone that's ordered a pin over the last few days. I'm going to go and take that to the post office now. I'm going to go and take something back to next. So I ordered some stuff to try on because obviously we can't try stuff on in shops at the moment. So whether I go into a shop and buy it and bring it home to try it on or order it from next to have it um, to pick it up from the store and then try it on, it really makes little difference. And I need some new jeans. And then the, the, the one, I've got the same pair of jeans for the last five or six years in exactly the same colour, exactly the same style, exactly the same size. And I think they've changed the size and that you're all going to laugh. But the size I usually get is too small. <laughs> and I swear to you, I'm not bigger. I'm the same. <laughs> so they must have changed the sizes. So I've had to, I'm going to take those back and pick up the next size up. I promise you, it's not all the biscuits for breakfast on Sundays. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'm going to give myself the day off for the rest of the day. I'm going to go and run the errands I need to run and I'm going to come home and I'm not going to do any exercise. I'm not going to do any housework and I'm going to sit on the sofa and do some drawing or knitting with Lilia and maybe find some nice Halloween-y autumnal films to watch. That's what I'm going to do. I'm having a day off. Never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. While I'm on a one way track. Now I from running my errands. It's now 10 past 11, so it took a bit longer than I was anticipating, but I ended up doing a bit of shopping and other bits as well. I might have bought some yarn. I was talking to Dan last night about my um, slipper socks, which um, feature every now and then. You might see me wearing my, my slipper socks. They're crocheted. And I made, I've made so many of the, those um, socks and given them to friends and family. Dan's got a pair lurking in the ottoman in our bedroom and uh, the girl, Lilia had a pair but they're too small now and I think they're too small for Phoebe as well and I'm really, I live in fear of mine falling apart because I wear them so much so I thought I'll go and get the yarn I can remember roughly the yarn I used all those years ago to make them but they didn't have it they had a version of it so it's from Hobbycraft and I didn't film myself going into Hobbycraft and afterwards I thought that would have made a really good bit for the vlog and I didn't so you just have to imagine that I went into Hobbycraft and I've ripped the label. It's Hayfield Bonus Aran. It's acrylic with 20% wool. There we go. Now, I would have preferred the heathered grey, but they didn't have it. They only had this and they only had one ball of this as well. And I actually really like the colour. It's, I, I might have to do a little zooming in because it's not coming out true to colour on the screen. It's looking a bit colder than it is in real life. Um, but it's an Aran weight and I held it double on the original with a DK yellow, because mine are yellow. So I just got a DK acrylic um, grey and I thought they would look really nice together. But because of the heathering of the purple, it's got a lot of blue and a little bit of green um, in there as well. So when I want to make some more for the girls, I can mix them with different colours and my fringe is going as crazy as usual. Um, what was I going to say? You're all making me laugh so much with your comments about the differences in um, the English language depending on where you live in the world. Um, I, I keep reading comments out aloud to Dan and we just giggle. We just giggle so much. There was someone who said that, well, who was it that said about taking their brother-in-law or their sister-in-law in Australia to the local, that they were visiting from Australia and they were taking them to the local pub and they were asking if it was okay to wear thongs, which here is... Um, underwear, quite skimpy underwear, um, but obviously in Australia it means flip flops. Stuff like that's hilarious, isn't it? 
Um, yeah, so keep all those comments coming. We're thoroughly enjoying reading them. Um, I wanted to mention, what did I want to mention? I, I know I need to draw a winner for the Her Splatter, Her Splatter Socks um, <laughs> by Christine of Sweet Lavender Knits. I'm going to do that a bit later today and I'll announce the winner later. Um, and I also wanted to say, I know I've been asked a few times for the recipe for the cheese scones. I will write them out and stick them under today's video, hopefully. I promise. Hopefully. Um, and then I've had a couple of messages about um, Fruity Knitting, a couple of Fruity Knitting. I don't, I'm not a subscriber to Fruity Knitting. I have watched a couple of their videos in the past. They seem like a lovely couple. And they've made an announcement to all their long-term um, or new anyone that's already viewing them basically to let them know about a change in their in their circumstances and some health problems that the guy of the the couple has got so i just wanted to mention that as well i don't really know them but you know it's awful for anyone to have to go through a tough time so if you're if you're a subscriber and you haven't seen their announcement um and i've got a discount code for you I thought dan was coming in there um Lily, my lovely friend Lily, who is um, Lily of Norway, is now, she used to be a knitting um, vlogger and podcaster, but she does not do that anymore. And she was a fantastic designer, is a fantastic designer, but she's moved away from that. She's not podcasting or talking about that anymore. She's concentrating on other stuff. Um, so she's got a new channel if you want some uh, glimpses of life in Norway and living simply and so on. Um, and it's Lily of Norway, but she's still got all of her patterns as Nordic Stitches up on Ravelry. And as a special October treat for viewers of this channel, she has given us 50% off all of her patterns in her Ravelry store. 50%. You just need to use the code, which I'm just going to double check. Just checking it. I've moved the camera and put it down because it was hurting my arm. So now you've got a good view of the bin and the stuff that I need to put away from shopping. <laughs> Okay, the code you need is SPOOKY, all capital letters, SPOOKY, um, and it can give you all 50% off her entire shop, single patterns and collections. So head on over there, I'll put a link underneath as well. Right, I'm going to need to write this down, aren't I? So, recipe, link to Lily. This is so I remember later when I'm uploading it. Um, what else do I want to say? We were watching um, Raven's House last night. So the girls really liked That's So Raven and they're sort of alternating it with Raven's House, which is the program that she made now she's grown up. She is so funny, that woman. Oh my God, we were proper laugh out loud laughing. It was a Halloween episode and she was driving a haunted car and it was just, it was so silly and it was so funny. So that's on Disney Plus. We were really enjoying that last night. Uh, I made a note to myself that I must mention it because it was just, she's just, she's got funny bones. Like Bill Bailey, that was another thing I was doing last night. I went down a rabbit hole on YouTube watching Bill Bailey clips because he's, on, he's one of the contestants on Strictly. And he really is an extraordinarily clever man and a very, very clever musician. And he doesn't, He's a very sort of humble person, but definitely if you go and have a look on YouTube at Bill Bailey, major and minor, you should be able to find a clip of him at the Prince's, one of the Prince's Trust performances, um, describing the difference between major and minor. It's so good. It's so funny. Um, where am I going with this? I showed you the yarn, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, right, I'm going to go and change into something more comfortable, i.e. Moomin pyjama bottoms rather than jeans until I have to go and pick up Phoebe. And I'm going to go and find a film to watch with Lilia and have a cup of tea. That's what I'm going to do. Also, um, and although only a snippet has passed for you, it's about 10 minutes later and I'm still sat in the same position because I've been going through all of your lovely comments because I got a bit behind uh, filming the podcast yesterday. I didn't look at my phone at all. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for your um, comments about chickens. Um, all very interesting and helpful stuff to know. I've done a lot of research on it since we got back from France because when we were in France, um, I did a vlog about it on our family channel, which is This Little Wonderful Life. I did a, a, a vlog all about our week in France in August. And we had chickens next door to the house where we were staying and the girls loved them 
we all loved them. Um, <clears throat> so I've been researching it quite a lot. Um, we don't have a big lawn, um, and my intention would be to put them on part of the lawn and move them about fairly regularly, but I don't know how quickly lawns recover from being pecked to death. Um, <clears throat> or the other option would be to We've got an area of the garden where they could be on an almost permanent basis but then I don't know if the ground would become not very good for them if they were in the same place the whole time. So that's sort of the kind of stuff that I'm looking into at the moment. But it sounds like you've all had lovely experiences with chickens. Um, Lilia is not allergic to feathers, a couple of people pointed that out. But we are going to have her tested because she's allergic to a lot of different things. And I think we need to find out exactly what. Because I thought she would have started to grow out of it by now but she's not. And I wanted to say, I wrote down everyone's names that mentioned chickens and I probably missed comments that have come in whilst I've been doing it and I probably miss people out so I apologise if I do. So thank you to all the chicken people. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Mazuga Nut, Melanie, Chris, who lives near Chicago, Chicago, where you have hawks, foxes and coyotes. Well, as I was just worried about foxes and next door's cat. Um, the coop that we would get is fox proof and um, it wouldn't be chicken wire, it's actually metal. And the coop itself is raised off the ground and it's plastic, which makes it easier to clean because you just hose it out. Uh, Jilly Pepper suggested a gecko. Now, Phoebe has suggested a gecko on many an occasion and I would not, I, mean, yeah, I would be okay with a gecko, to be honest. I quite like those things. We always go and see them at Pets at Home. Um, Cheryl, Brendy, Nicola, Martha, Francis, Suzanne, Beverly, Pauline and Eva, lovely Eva. I really am gonna go and chill out and stop chatting now. Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life. It never pays in the end. But still I am here, moving on like before. thing popped up on the screen which I've been waiting for because it hasn't been working but I'm just going to go and book my swim for Thursday and I'll be right back. <laughs> nope. Still not working. <sighs> Anyone else use the Places for People website for their local leisure centre because it's rubbish. I'm going to have to call them to book my swim. Okay I've drawn the win winner. I have used comment commentpicker.com you put the url of the video in you include the phrase that you've asked people to say i'm in in this case and it draws a winner at random and that is what i have done and it has drawn lana ebeling i'm going to put your name on the screen and your comment was i'm in thank you for sharing your day it's so nice to have your visits to look forward to each day i love it well you're very welcome thank you for coming each day lana and you have won a copy of the beautiful herbs Platter Socks by Gorgeous Christine of the Sweet Lavender Knit podcast. Um, I will, if you can get in touch with me, either on Instagram where I'm Starry Eyes Alley or Ravelry by the same name, or you can email me on littlejobswonderful at gmail.com and give me your Ravelry name or an email address and I will ask Christine to send that to you. So well done, yay! Beautiful socks. <laughs> so um, we're back from the school run. Uh, the girls are just having nice big snacks because they've got trampolining tonight. Although Phoebe, um, Lily is a bit grumpy about it because she's on half term. Then they're going to get changed. I'm going to edit this together and hopefully get it uploaded a bit early so I can kick back with my crocheted slipper socks. So I'm determined to get at least one finish today. It's been really lovely returning to an old favourite pattern and just enjoying it. And because it's Aaron and DK held together, which is how I've done mine, I'm following my notes for when I made them originally 
it works out really quickly so it's quite hard to find the pattern so if you're interested i will put the link to it underneath and i will also put the link to my project as well with my notes if that helps anyone if you're interested right i'm going to go and edit and keep trying to book my swim <laughs> Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life. It never pays in the end. But still I am here, moving on like before. Yeah.